Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel from Amazon today and it came in a black plastic bag. Um, but it wasn't on Amazon Prime. Um, it was just a standard delivery one. So it's possibly come direct from a company and it took a little bit longer to come. I think it's taken about a week. And it's something that I've ordered with a Vipon coupon. Yay! Um, yeah, it's, it's still showing up uh, as of this morning on the Vipon app site that's v-i-p-o-n um and it's just an app that gives you discounts and things a bit like groupon voucher all those kind of things um on amazon products and they do from time to time have diamond painting products as well and this time we got oops it's this end i've opened <laughs> the storage case yay um, when I first started using Vipon, they did have quite a few storage cases and I did manage to get quite a few of them at really, really good prices. This is actually on the Vipon coupon at the moment, cheaper than I paid. I think this one was about £17 and I think it's on about £14 at the moment. So it might be worth checking out. Um, but yeah, I just saw it and I thought, oh, it's nice and colourful and butterflies. And it's one of my favourite cases with the bottles in. So we'll have a look at it and see what we got. Uh, I'm not affiliated with a, a Vipon. I don't get any commission. I don't get anything for showing them. They don't send me free products or anything. It's just it's just an app that I've come across that does give you some really good deals. Some of them aren't quite so good, but some of them are really, really good. Um, so it's always worth checking. And I must admit, I do check it every day. <laughs> so let's have a look at this one and see what we got. I believe it's got some different bits and pieces in it as well. Out of its packets. Okay. And uh, to be fair, I need more storage. Like uh, I need, well, I don't really need any more storage, but you've just got to have it when it's a bag and you know, it would be rude not to. And look at all those butterflies on it. It's a lovely, soft, canvasy sort of feel, materially feel. You've got your double zips, so it will open from both sides. And I just love the orange trim. That orange with all the different colors just really makes it pop and makes it just that little bit different. It's got a really good um, extendable handle on it. So it's got your grip handle, which means it's a really good one. Sometimes you get them and they only have like a cloth handle, but this has got a really good handle. So it should be able to hold quite a lot um, of heavy air things in it if you didn't want to use it for diamond painting. I'll be using it for diamond painting. My gems will be going in here. And oh, oh okay right so we have some stickers to go on our round cases and we have one two three four five six three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have a 60 little bottles and they are the good ones so they're the hard plastic bases but they are the soft plastic tops uh, so they don't squeak when you put them on if you get the hard plastic bases and the hard plastic tops it's like nails down a blackboard so these are my favorites and i don't find if i'm going to drop something it does tend to be the lid so these don't crack because there's quite a bit of giving them just that little bit softer okay and so this is my favorite style of storage because once the lids are on they're all nice and contained and uh, even when i drop them most of the time the lids don't come off <laughs> i won't say never because you never know Looks like we've got two little spoons, so maybe they're expecting us to be spooning uh, our dr drills in and out of our little cases, but uh, never mind, our stickers there as I say. We've got our nice little netted pocket at the top that you can put all your pens. Um, I tend to put, if I've got like 20 bags of one colour, I'll put spare bags in there. Um, you can even get your trays and everything in look. And this has got ooh, quite a nice little extra toolkit with it as well so that's not bad going let me have a look Let's see what we got in this one <coughs> i must admit there are some of them are things that i may not use but uh, they can always go in my donation pile or my little mystery bags pile so we've got uh, 
two, four, six, eight, ten pieces of your little wax there, ten of your little squares of wax that you normally get with your kits. We've got a nice little straightener. These are handy um, for starting off your diamond paintings. You can butt it up to the edge of your painting so that you can start off with a nice straight edge and you can actually run them in between your drills so that you can keep your drills straight if that's what you like to do it has even though it looks quite chunky it does sort of like taper to a finer edge there so you can get it in your drill in between your drills just that little bit more we've got uh, a pack of probably 10 15 ish little grip seal bags there okay always handy to have we have two of your standard green trays we have your plastic tweezers, which, uh, yeah, I tend to use now if I'm either heating something, heat embossing something, or if I'm putting um, sealer onto my diamond paintings. They're great for sort of like holding your painting down so you're not having to put your finger on it and get glue or heat on your fingers. So they are quite handy. I've never been able to use them for diamond painting, though. To me, they're just too flimsy there's just not enough grip to be able to pick things up with them but you know they're okay if you've not got any others they're fine we've got a lovely large white tray which these are sort of my favorites if i can't get hold of um my other trays that are my custom trays that i have then these are like my next favorite because i do like to have a lot of drills even though i'm a spiller i can't cope with a small amount of drills in a small tray i do like to have a bigger tray so that uh, yeah i can use them from the big trays okay and then we have four pink pens with single places on and then it looks like we have those two the same so let me have a look we have a three placer standard three placer these are the old thicker ones as well and is that one a five uh, nope, that's a six placer. Okay, and I think that one's a six placer as well. Yeah, that one's a six placer. So we have two of those. And so then is this one a nine? Yeah, you tend to get three, six and nine in these sets uh, for whatever reason, if they do send you, um, if it starts off with three. But while we've got two of the sixes, I suppose maybe they think that's the most popular. But as I say, they are the thicker nibs. Whereas now you can get the really fine nibs, which people do say are easier to use. But if you are wanting to uh, pick up larger gems, special shape gems, then actually these tend to be a little bit better, particularly your three and four places, um, because you've got a bigger surface area. So once your wax is in there, you tend to find you can pick up bigger gems rather than just using your single end with a thicker end if you've not got any of say the pretty places or um glue dots or whatever then these tend to be just that little bit better that little bit okay and then finally we have a nice little funnel and it's a square funnel okay So oh, it's one of the like rubber ones so it just pops out when you want wanting to use it to put your drills back in oh this one's gone a little bit misshapen so you just literally get your top from your container when you finish with them in your tray and if you're a spiller you can just pop that into the top of your bottle and just tip them out through there i think this one just needs a little bit of uh, playing about with to get it to be a bit straight <laughs> It's gone a little bit misshaped. Uh, it makes no difference the fact that it's a square shaped one rather than um, a round one. They both do exactly the same job. You don't have to have one of these for square drills and the other round one for round drills. They're exactly the same. Um, I tend to find that I'm okay tipping them back in. But if you do, you know, have de dexterity problems, then sometimes using one of these is uh, just that little bit handy. And what I tend to do with these as well when I have used them is just get a tumble dry sheet and just rub all the inside and the funnel part with the tumble dry sheet. And it just stops any static and it stops the drill sticking a little bit as well. So just an extra little tip there. But yeah, excellent. So... 
yeah i mean you can buy the cases they do range the 60 bottle cases from i think 18 pound is probably the cheapest i've seen them an odd one i have had at 16 pound but that's quite a while ago now um right up to like 20 25 pound i think the 20 pound mark is sort of an average cost for one of these um they're in like a foam piece so if you did want to take it out and just use the case you could do or if you wanted to put a different piece of foam in you can do that as well but it does keep them nicely um nicely in the case there so that they don't fall out and they're nice and secure and uh, yeah i've got quite a biggish painting i need to get kitted up so this will be used for that um, i say I've, I've got quite a few cases but i've also got quite a few kits um kitted up as well so i thought rather than trying to rather than trying to rush um completing a kit that i've not really started yet i'll just buy another case <laughs> oh dear not that i need one but anyway and um, if you've not seen these before i'll give it a quick measure so you can see the footprint of it and it is roughly sort of just roughly 30 centimeters 12 inches that way i'll include the handle there so we're about nine and a half inches which is 24 centimeters or the actual case itself is 20 centimeters uh eight inches and then the depth of it is uh six centimeters which is about two and three quarter inches there so yeah it's it's a nice size but so these are my favourites. They do take up a little bit more room than just like the see-through plastic cases. Um, but I find that they're just that little bit safer. Possibly for me anyway, because you know what I'm like, Spilly Liz. <laughs> okay, so that's all this little set that I've got here. Let me just pop all these bits uh, back into this little case here. Okay all those there so not a bad little set really and um, if certainly if it's somebody that's just starting out or somebody that's not got uh, any diamond painting stuff then this is ideal but obviously if you've been diamond painting for a while and you don't really use your pink pens then it is just an extra um, but you can always pass them on to somebody else and um, if they've not got them or they need some spare ones okay well just a quick little video to show you my little extra bargain that i got uh, not quite as much a bargain as uh, it may be at the moment if there is still some available so go and check out vipon and see if they're still there but yeah and it is very pretty you tend to pay a little bit more sometimes as well for the printed ones rather than just the standard black right well if you have enjoyed looking at this with me as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come out and i'd love you to subscribe and come and join our little family and join in with some of our subscriber giveaways and bits and pieces that we do okay well that's me done for now so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now